You can't secure what you can't see. In fact, surveys tell us that on average, the bad guys are in your system for almost 300 days before it's realized. Now, why is that? It's because the systems that we use to discover this oftentimes have gaps in their understanding and you can't secure what you can't see. So what do we use to look for these kinds of incidents when someone's breaking in? Well, we use a technology called a security information and event management system, or I'll call it a SIM for short. And what we do with a SIM is we take different devices that we have in our environment, let's say maybe a firewall, maybe a network intrusion prevention system, maybe a system where I'm gonna take all the logs from that system. I take all of that information and forward it up into the SIM, where I have a database where that information is stored, and then I have a security analyst up at the SIM that takes the information, once it's been collected, aggregated, correlated, and we apply a security policy to it in order to find out in near real time when someone has broken into our systems. So that ought to work really well, and generally it does, but there are some limitations. Why do we have limitations? Well, it turns out that a lot of organizations have other systems that are not feeding into their SIM. Maybe an endpoint uh, uh, detection and response system could be that through an acquisition or merger, you have another SIM that you acquired from the other organization and it's not feeding in. And then a lot of organizations are creating things they call data lakes, where they're collecting security information in order to do some of their own analysis using their own data scientists that are in the house. And all of these things collectively amount to a SIM gap. These are the gaps that hurt our visibility. What I need is a more integrated view that allows me to see all of these things at once. But what's preventing that? In many cases, it's cost. It's the fact that the more information I put up into my SIM, the more expensive the SIM gets. That's the way most of these are priced. So there's some information I need for real-time alerting and other information I might need for forensic analysis, for threat hunting, for after-the-fact kind of analysis. So what I really would like to have is something that complements the capability that I just described with a SIM. And I'll suggest to you that could be something like a federated search capability. In federated search, instead of bringing all the information up, as we did here with the SIM, you notice this is very bottoms up approach. In fact, what I wanna do with federated search is leave the data in place and then go out and retrieve it just in time. So you notice I don't have the massive database where everything is collected in advance. I can have just the information that needs to be into the SIM there and have it then serve as a way to let me know when I need to do an investigation. Now my analyst sits over here and they're able to see the alarms that they come in. And in some cases, I'll tie the SIM back into the federated search capability. So now I have the ability to search all of these other areas that had been dark before, as well as the SIM in an integrated system. And what this does for me now, with federated search, I leave the data in place. Why is that useful? Leaving the data in place helps reduce cost. So we lower the cost because I'm not sending all the information into the SIM. I, by leaving the data in place, I have a more efficient operation. A more efficient operation means I don't have to process all of that information in advance. I can go get the parts that I need in advance and the rest of it I go get just when I need it. So I'll suggest to you that this bottom up complemented with a top down approach give you the best of both worlds. As I said at the beginning, you can't secure what you can't see. So we need to fill the gaps in the visibility that we have. We need to get rid of the SIM gaps and this is a way to do it. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like this video and subscribe to this channel so we can continue to bring you content that matters to you.